The PIC32 accesses all data RAM, program flash, and the peripherals in the same way by writing a 32-bit address to the bus. Now, since each address addresses a byte, we have 2 to the 32 bytes we can address, which is the same as 4 gigabytes. Okay. There's not nearly that many things that the PIC32 can access, so most of the addresses are meaningless. What we want to do now is look at the physical memory map of the PIC32 to see which addresses are valid and what they mean. So the physical memory map. Okay. We know it goes from 0 to 4 gigabytes. And I'm going to write that as a vertical stack of bytes. And down here at the bottom, I have address 0. I'm going to write it in hex hexadecimal. So that's 0x. And since each hex character represents 4 bits, I'm going to need 8 zeros here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is the, the first address in our physical memory map. And for the PIC32, what lives at addresses 0 and larger are data RAM. So when there's an address on the bus referring to an address uh, just a little bit larger than 0, it's accessing data RAM. So the actual size of the data RAM on our PIC32 is 128 kilobytes. Then there's a region of physical memory that corresponds to nothing. So if we were to write this address to the bus, there would be nothing to access. And then starting at this memory location, 1D00000, we have the program flash. And for our PIC32, we have 512 kilobytes. Note that these two regions are not contiguous. There's a period here of, of dead addresses that don't do anything. We have another period where there's nothing. And by the way, this is not drawn to scale. And then starting at 0x1f8000000, starting at that address, we have the peripheral special function registers. So these are the registers we write to to change the functions of the pins, for example. And that's a region one megabyte long. And then we again, again, we have a dead region here. And then starting at address 0, x, 1, f, c, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have what's called the boot flash, and we haven't talked about this. The boot flash is a region of memory to hold any startup commands uh, for your program. So when the PIC is reset, it's going to jump to an address in boot flash and start executing commands there. And then later, it might jump out to somewhere else in program flash. So boot flash is when you reboot, when you restart the PIC, it's going to start executing commands sitting in program or in boot flash. And then the last four 32-bit words of boot flash here are called the configuration bits. So the configuration bits together with the boot flash are 12 kilobytes on our PIC. And these four 32-bit words at the end and this is now also meaningless addresses here. But these four 32-bit words, these configuration bits, 
hold important information about how the PIC32 operates. For example, it tells us how to take the clock signal coming into the PIC and turn it into different frequencies for the system clock, the peripheral bus clock, and the USB clock. These things are generally not changed while the program is running. We set them up once and then they never change again.